I'm here to do whatever I can, be it late afternoon, country bumpkin, wooden boxes, and banjos. Well, actually, there's no banjos in Casey and Sunshine Man, but what we have here is the Gashelli Arkle 2.5 XL, and that is a mouthful. And Gashelli doesn't come up with enough new products a year that I could just be like, eh, whatever. So, great wallpaper. Get all the whole group out. Got some Gashelis down there. We're, we're good to go. We've got the 8XX, which if today calculates to be the 20th of February, it should be. I don't know what day it is. I don't know the days. But uh, the 14th to the 20th of February, uh, these are on sale with the link in the description. $401 off for Z Reviews patrons. Not patrons, not like the people who patronize me, but people who are, if you're watching this video, and it's between February 14th and 20th, Go to drop the last day to grab these, and I think the pads are on there too. The ones I like to use the fenestrated uh, ZMF, uh, not ZMF. Well, ZMF, I, I would wear ZMF 8800 8x8x pads. Yeah, these are Dakonis, but yeah, go check it out. Also, if you want to go to APOS, look over the cable, you could do that. But we're not here to talk about the 8xx, even though they're great. We're here to talk about the Arkel 2.5 XL, which Gishelli has its wooden box, and this is zebra wood, by the way, which is not on their list. If you go to their list, Gishelli's got this thing, all right? Gishelli is an American company. They're based down in Florida. I've been... <sighs> I hit download. It's going to be a new download. They they started making just basic DAX and amps. I've had to have some in a drawer back there, like really simple stuff. It's hobbyists. And then they started taking my feedback. And I started giving them advice, and then they started giving it back, and it's back and forth, and slowly... Things have sort of taken shape. And the the wood thing is new because the the, the father, so the guy who runs it, Gino, his dad's like, hey, I'm retired and I got nothing to do and I like to make wood things. So now he's making wooden boxes for the amps, which are all basically a single board amp and they're all current mode amplification. The DAX are here. So we've had a, we had a, a run on the, the Enogs and there was the Enog 2. Then there was the JNogs. And now there's the J2, so there's a J2, and this is the E2. This is the Arish 2, which has now been removed to E2. And I reviewed this, and it's fucking great, because it's a balanced current mode only. Balanced only, though, and balanced in and out only, so you need a balanced DAC, which luckily, that's where the J2 comes in. And now we have the Arkle, which... I have an Arkle on the shelf over there. The Arkle is there on balance, quarter inch only amplifier. They haven't made an amplifier yet that does both. They're, they're, they're not ready for that yet. We're growing as a company very slowly, but we're growing towards things like that. So you can have both that and this and that and be very happy. So I'm gonna plug the current mode amp. It's current mode, they don't say that, but it took forever for people to realize what was going on because for some reason, Extremely high impedance load headphones sounded amazing on all the Ari all the uh, Arish and Arkle products, and it's like, why? 600 ohms, you know how you know, that's the resistance level, and if it's higher the number, the less, the, the higher the number, the more resistance. It's like it's pulling it down, so it should be harder to do, but it seems fucking easy, and I can verify that because literally earlier today, I did another. American made, uh, I did a DACAM combo, I did the um, Element 3, and I hooked up these to it, and if I maxed out the Element 3, it was like, all right, this is pushing AC, DT-880, so it was pretty fucking good. And then I put it on this, and it's like, oh, I'm gonna die. So, let's, Alt-J, I should go back to that. Hold on, Alt-J, Interlude 2. Oh, you wanna hear that on speakers, you said? Hold on. So nice. This is a nice. I like nice music sometimes. Like Alt J. Everyone, I think people have known of that. And this is just called Interlude Two, and it's a minute and seventeen seconds long. Does anyone have this on their playlist? Because they just. This is like sad thinking about Chewbacca music, and I just you need that occasionally. Um, I did have to unplug the quarter inch, and I did have to turn the speakers on with their power, because Shelley hasn't gotten to the point where. 
There's many things missing from their products that will be eventually added, and I can guarantee one. First, now that I've got the speakers on, I'm going to shut the unit off. Ah, oh, fuck. James Horner, Flying Circus. That's from, um... The Rocketeer. Anyway, the first thing I noticed that was a negative with the Gashelli was... Oh, wait. That's power LED. Well, oh, it'd be a fart noise when I turned it off. When I turn it on. So there's no muting circuit. And I messaged Gashelli because they're literally on my phone. And I can text message them. And they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, no, we know. It'll be on the next revision. It's planned. It's already planned out. So every time I get something and I figure something else out, because this is really one of the first units they've had with a pre-out, and you know, you put it out there and you wait for the feedback, and then the feedback comes in and you modify and you adjust. So we're we're always gonna be behind the curve slightly, or ahead of the curve slightly, I guess is what I would say. For features and you know, what is it doing? Well, it makes sort of pops. But it doesn't matter if it makes pops because you're gonna have to have your speakers off. Anyway, if you want to listen to headphones, because if you play and you plug in your headphones, these are playing and those are playing. We're, we're, they're both playing and they're both controlled by the same knob, which is not the ideal situation for a preamp. I mean, it's okay if you're willing to unplug your headphones and then just have speakers. That's fine. The problem is if you forget to do that or, you know, it's headphone time. Oh, so I have a kilowatt edge here, which I don't think they sell anymore, which actually just this power plug uh, goes to both those speakers and I just turn it off and now they're not on. And now this is just headphones into the 8XX. Ah, it's so good. Now I have Remo Williams playing. That's a good movie. I would, there's so many movies I want to pick for my movie night that I do with my friends that I like, I want to force onto them like. 80s classics that I grew up with. Remo Williams, The Adventures of Remo Williams is one of them. Stars that dude from Tremors. That's all I know him, from Remo Williams and Tremors. And I call him The Dude. By the way, um, the wood selection. I, I had the wood selection box up, but then I realized I was blocking that amazing wallpaper, so I, I put it down. So the base, if you go to the, the Gishelli shop, which is what's linked in the description, you can get the Arkle 2.5 XL, XL for extra extra large. It's the right. It's the same size as that. They're sort of expanding their boxes. They used to have small boxes. Then they used to have boxes with nothing in them. Now they have like different different saying uh, shades and glasses. So 209 for the metal case. If you go to the wooden case for the XL, you get presented with this page, which says 209. And then you get a pull down, and you get to choose from different types of woods. If you want metal, you get metal. You get the colors of metal. They're fine. Absolutely. Pr here's two purples and a white down there a sparkly white if you want wood your choices are and it's a, immediately fifty dollars more than the stock one to have someone build this box for you and finish it and put it around there a red oak white oak cedar poplar beech wood and then if you want to go a little bit more expensive for sixty dollars you can get paduck and mahogany and you want to go for seventy dollars it's bloodwood and purple heart you could have a fucking purple heart amp to go with your your Fostex Purple Heart, TXX100. And then if you want to go for, actually, there's another $50 one that's the Black Stain Oak. And then for $90 more, it's Canary Wood and Wenge. Now, unfortunately, they don't have pictures of all these woods because they only are going to build them if you want it. So it's built to order. And then you can please visit our wood selection and descriptions for detail. Well, let's see. Wood selections. Here we go. Oh, they oh, purple heart. There's canary wood, which actually canary wood looks like this, but this is zebra, which is not in their site because I asked her and she's like, no, 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 no. We made like two of those just to see if we could, and it was fucking expensive, so we sent you one. So I'm like, thank you. Look at the cedar one. I'd put it in my closet just to make my closet smell good. The white oak kind of looks like old plywood. This is red oak. I think that's what these are. Then there's Paduk, and then, the, oh my God. Are they seriously doing multicolored woods? Oh, Jesus, fuck. Anyway, so yeah, now you can you can spend anywhere from 50 to 90 to probably more than that at some point to have their dad make a really cool case for it. And I'm into this, and I like the look of it. I like the look of it more with the dark 
uh, fascia. This one's got the like the tinted front, and this one's just got the clear. Actually, it's got a yellow glass. I think yeah, it's yellow glass, so it's like a little bit weird, but you can still see around it. I would probably go dark if I did it. Um, take a tour of the unit. See, how don't forget timestamps. Got to talk to myself in the future from the past. It's. Does anybody else do that? I have a real question because I'm a YouTuber and I have to rewatch my videos after I make them. Not very far in the future, like two day tomorrow probably I'll watch this one. But like, do you ever like leave messages to yourself in like a weird girl's diary from an '80s, you know, dramatic show sort of way? Because I'll be like, Zeus, stupid ass, look at yourself, look in the mirror. It's time to go on that diet for real. Meanwhile, I'll be watching this tomorrow and I'll be like, what? What does this asshole know about me? He don't know nothing. Oh, I got to talk about the feet, too. Yeah, I know the feet. I, I know. Unit tour. Uh, two buttons. You could tell this is like a company that has started like two years ago, and they're not... Because we're still using the actual buttons like through the Lexan. Like actual board-mounted buttons, and you can just see them. Um, this one is power and LED, so you get to change the color of the LED... Uh, is that white or multicolor? I think that's just white. Uh, teal, purple, blue, yellow, green, red, and off. I think one of them has cycling, but not this one. So you could have it just sit there with it on. I kind of want them to do a little bit more with that. Put more of them or put it behind something or light the entire fascia up with that. would be kind of cool. Um, so then input gain gets to choose between one press is the input with no indicator. There's only two, so if it's not playing music, press that once. If it's if you're playing, oh nothing, because nothing's plugged in. Let's plug. Let's take these off for for a moment. Un momento, eight at tech six. Oh, there's my fucking hat. Stay there. Don't don't fall. Don't don't you fall. Shit, I forgot to have the Anandas down there. You know what? Let's fuck it. Let's take the Anandas up. How you doing? How you doing? And it is, of course, using the Periapt cable, the Z-Reviews Periapt cable, which was sold out. I'm so oh, glad people actually enjoyed buying that. Uh, new pad, new Dakoni pads on the Ananda's. Bring them to fucking life. So yeah, you press that button once. It's basically mute if you only have one input. Because the inputs on this are RCA here and balanced here. I'm feeding it out of a J2 into the balanced. Um, I have nothing going into it via RCA, and I have these RCA outs going to the speakers. Th that, I guess I finished the tour of the back accidentally just now. Power in, uh, XLR in, RCA out, RCA in. So you can use, if you only have one input, whether it's RCA or XLR, pressing that button once will mute it. So we're kind of like making, making up the good where the bad is. By the way... Holy shit, Seawall from Blade Runner 2049. That. I can't. I can't tell you what that sounds like. And that song has like distortion sounds in it. I know the amp won't distort because I maxed out the DT880 600 ohm. That was on low gain, by the way. What just, just now was low gain. We put this to high gain by holding that second button down. Because that's literally the, the tour of the front is quarter inch in the front. And then a knob that needs to be upgraded. And I keep telling them, just run out of these knobs, please. Because they're a small company. If they have 500 of these in a box, they're not going to invest in new knobs until they run out of these old knobs. And I really, this unit is too fucking nice to keep using this. I mean, it's an aluminum knob. And it's okay. And it's got an okay little indicator there. But we're we're in the age of knobs, baby. We need some knobs that have power, have feel, have knurling, that make me no make them out of wood for fuck's sake, to match this. I'd love a wood knob. Don't take any of my words out of context. Anyway, the uh, indicator you get here, so that's power. If we turn this off, the top one there is literally power, because if you shut off the LED in the back, that's your indicator. Then you have low gain, you hold this down, high gain, and I just switched inputs by accident. So now on high gain, oh my fucking God. Okay, no, stop. I just, I gotta double check what the actual, does it say? The 
power, gain switch, unity gain, or 6x. It doesn't say the power, unless it says it in the metal cased one. Does it have more specs here? Nope. It's bizarro stormy because it doesn't have a bigger transformer. Here's a little transformer here. It's a 12 volt, one amp. It's not that big a power supply. It's not like a, you know, plugging in a 110 to it. And yet it can. All right, I got to take these off as much as I want to listen to those because everyone wants to know. But Zeos, the hardest to drive headphones you have. Current mode does something weird in the way it delivers power. Yeah, I'm going to die at 2 o'clock. Oh, I am nowhere near 3 o'clock. And um, that's that's a lot. That is a lot of, of movement. And I think it has better low end than some of the other amps I've like given the thumbs up to. Because low end is one of the things that gets sucked out of a headphone that's high impedance if you don't power it right. That's why I recommend like speaker amps. Oh, God, yeah. I know I can't play this because it's from Bakamana Guitari, and that will immediately get my video blocked worldwide. But I want to hear it. So, if you're looking for... Did I even see the price? You know, I... I have a, 209, I said the price, because 209 plus if you want wood, it's at least $50 more. Yeah, these these are officially DT-880 600 ohm sounding DT-880 600 ohms on this unit on high gain. Um, let's talk about noise floor. Hold on. Down to low, you can nail it. Doesn't quite get loud enough. So you need them on high gain. Noise floor. Here are my Dunu Zens. The most efficient IMs I currently have, and I love the way they sound too. So I put on the regular quarter inch adapter and I plugged them in. There is on low gain, because these are the most efficient, on low gain, there is no noise until I get to the very last 10% of the pot, and then it goes shh, shh, shh. So at the very top of low gain, there is some background noise. However, and then oh wait, then I went to high gain, and high gain has a slight background noise all the way throughout because it's high gain. But the problem is low gain is still powerful enough that I could barely get out of the pots, like you know the uncertain area at the vo bottom of volume knob, where it's like oh it's kind of more left than right, and then it balances out. It's kind of like it was kind of like there where I wanted to use these. Luckily, this is Gashelli Labs. You have a second volume control or I, it's not really a volume control, but the DAC, the J2, or the Irish 2, we do have gain outputs for the XLRs, how much voltage those are putting out. So what I did, sorry for blocking Rhea Scrimmery, what I did was I set that to its lowest output, which allowed me to use the volume control up to about halfway on low gain. And these sounded fucking amazing. So... As long as you're using the stack in tandem, you could basically run any IM you want without fear of hearing any noise. Because the background noise is just doesn't show up. You're never gonna play, you're, if you're playing super sensitive IMs anywhere near the top of low gain on this, you're gonna die. And you'll never play them. The only he headphones or IMs I'd probably put on this on high gain would be the tin P1s or P2s. And those are so inefficient, I don't even think I would hear the static noise. Um, let's put the, the last ones on here. I'm using these same headphones that I had out for put my Chris hat on, my country girl, and my wooden boxes. Oh, that was a real noise. See, it was just made a real noise. Imagine if it was the other way around and I picked up the 880s and the fucking elites, Meze, Pier and Elites almost fell off. It would have been a different noise. I love how this is such a cheap... St I I wish Cashelli Labs was greedier. Because $200 for a, a, like a made in America by just a gr small group of people 
amp that everyone sometimes people complain it looks like it's a kit amp and sometimes people buy it listen to it and praise the shit out of it for being a pretty remarkably simple current mode amplifier but whatever way you look at it it should be more than 209 dollars just like that should be more than whatever that is i think that's 200 and that's wallpapers that aren't used yet what is the bigger the erish hold on hold please while we go shopping the Arish is... I need to upgrade their infrastructure, too. So, Arish is 229 Come on! The the DAX are more expensive. The DAX 250 And if you want the wood case, obviously it goes up. So, it's 250 for the DAC. And then it's 229 for their balanced amplifier, which is only balanced. And then it's 209 for this. They should be charging $100 more for every one of those items. DAX, I don't mind if the DAX stay cheap, because let's just get the get the DAC out there. But to get a whole stack of like this for under 500 made in America, if you don't get the wood, like I get you you're paying extra to have like I don't know how much more this zebra wood is, but fuck, man. We all agree. I think everyone agrees it's just charge more. It's hard to do that now. How do you think Mr. Speakers became literally Dan Clark audio? And, and selling mass electrostats. He was overcharging the fuck out of modified Fostex, like $900 for modified Fostex. That's why Mod House is still, you know, 12 weeks behind. He can't hire a staff. He was, if he was charging eight, $900 for Argons, which I sit here thinking if that's what he should be charging for them, he'd have like four employees and Christmas bonuses and there'd be no weight on headphones. Jesus, these things. There's not much I could do to test this headphone amp except for play music through it, which is an absolute tragedy. I mean, oh, it's just, it's terrible. I live a terrible life. But I, I find, I find the sound signature, because that's what everyone's interested in, Zio's timestamp. I find the, si the sound signature of Gishelli stuff to be... Smoother than most, but at the same time, slightly aggressive. And I know I don't talk about sounds. It's just either an amp's right or it doesn't amp right. And I don't talk about DAC sounding one way or another. They just either DAC right or they don't DAC right. But there's a combination thing between that and this that I look at like the Fio K9 Pro and I look at the Musician Andromeda and I know how that sounds. I know how that sounds. And I know how this sounds. And I kind of just want, I kind I kind of just, I want to listen to this. Maybe it's because I have a personal like relationship with the damn creators. They're so personable. Whereas just like musician, I don't know who the hell works there. Lin Sol just shovels that into the box in China. And Fio obviously is making a new unit every eight weeks. It's like a new Fio thing. This feels more special. And it could very well much be biasing my opinion of it. But you know what? Don't look at me. Stop watching this video. Everyone who already owns Gashelli products, please, for the love of God, go to the comments. Type out your thoughts. Put your Amazon review for Gashelli because they don't have a space on their site to add reviews, like user reviews. And that could be a good or bad thing because some people are like, eh, and some people are like, eh. But use my comments below as your Gashelli Labs customer service, sound quality, build quality, if you've ever had issues. Spill your guts. Spill, as they say in Yellow Jackets, which is not a bad show. Uh, what's her name? It's like 41. I can't believe she's 41. She was so hot in Black Snake Moan. She wasn't 41. Um, spill your guts down there and tell me what you think about Kishele Labs. Because I'm only one man, and I obviously have some sort of personal ties with the career. I actually met them. They were at, they for some reason, out of fucking nowhere, they were at, uh, cap not Capital the, 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 the MAGFest, which I'm not going to for a couple more years because MAGFlu will be real bad this year. Um, but they're just there because they apparently love that shit. Music and Gaming Festival. That's awesome. Yeah, no, I've... <sighs> oh, that was a good country song. Let's plug these headphones back in for more country. What is this? Eddie Arnold, Indiana. 
That's the only thing missing from Gishai Labs. It's not made in Indiana where the girls wear nothing but, but, but dungarees and we have wood things. I would be very proud to have this represent America in like any international audio shows. We got JDS Labs. We got ZMF with their, they have a couple amps. Um, oh, does he have an amp? They have, they have the Deckard. There's a thing they make. We got Mayflower. We got shit. I can't forget shit. Although shit hasn't. I feel like Gishelli Labs, who is just a infant baby in the in the world of like creating amps and DAX. I feel like they're gonna surpass shit in technological advancements in like two years. Shit just makes the same shit. And they changed, they got rid of sharp edges on their metal cabinets and finally. But shit's again charging a lot for their shit. Well, they were at least. Now they've sort of got their sheep end and their high end end, and they just they're just taking the money and they're putting it to R and D, and they're pumping stuff out. Although the stuff they put out is like like they have one or two. Like the Asgard three is amazing, but this is still cheaper than that, and it probably as capable. I just I don't even want to listen to country music. Everything sounds fucking great. I have nothing negative to report except for the popping of the speakers through the preamp and the inability to turn the preamp on and off. Once that's here, once there's another button, because it literally the space for another button, I, I'd love this. They're sort of stuck in like, this is what Kishelli Labs looked like. They don't have to live there. They can do anything they want. No one's going to complain if like it doesn't have the Lexan front, it doesn't have the exposed buttons and LEDs that are super confusing. Like I still just press the button on the input on the DAC until it plays music at some point. Which this was fun because I didn't know it doesn't indicate which input this is, and that doesn't I don't recognize you know okay this is spit if on the front, so I just kept hitting it and then hitting this and then hitting that and then hitting this and hitting that until it worked. I was like oh, okay now it's now it's perfectly fine. I can't give I can't give Kishelli Labs enough praise, but I don't want to give them too much praise because then everyone's gonna be like oh Zeus is a shill. I mean I do shill I shill the fuck of time for things I like. I want you to like the things I like. I want to put like Great O'Hemp's with their wood next to this with his wood next to her, which gives me wood. It's just wood everywhere. Oh God, ACDC. We are getting some good picks for like the feel I wanted to go with with that wallpaper in this background. Like, it's another music I can't play. Utreon, should I move my platform to Utreon and have like five people watch it? but I can play all the fucking music I want until five years from now when the lawyers catch up. Yeah, so I am fine as long as you have the DAC and can quell the noise floor and bring up the usage of the knob. Knobs need to be, I, I wish they just offer me expensive knobs. That's another thing that I think they could do. And I'm adding complications to their lives because they're watching this. Hi, everybody. Um, but wouldn't you like it if you could like pick different knob, like the standard knob is complimentary. Or this knob is an extra $7. Or this knob, you know, some sort of like, just you can make a $5,000 diamond encrusted knob and put it on the website. No one will ever buy it, but you have it there just in case. Just to say, wow, did you know you can get a $5,000? Just think about the memes that would be. Like a $200 amp in a standard unpainted case and a five thousand dollar diamond encrusted rose gold knob. I'm, I'm I'm a salesman. God damn it! I'm good at marketing. Just people would link that site places on Reddit that don't have anything to do with audio. Just like you see, you can get a five thousand dollar add-on knob. Please do that. Make it a, a, a pocket watch, like a, a vintage 1830s pocket watch. It just rotates. You turn the volume with it. Anyway, um, thank you, Gashelli, for sending this out. I will find it. I need to find a home. I have the original Irish one there, and I really need to put the Irish two, but the Irish two is wood, and I like looking at it on my desk upstairs. So I'm kind of like stuck, and I need to have basically the Arkle 2.5 and the Irish if I want to have the ability to plug in balanced or unbalanced. Hopefully, we get a, uh, a combo that can do both in the future. Oh my God, I'm going to have to charge $300 for something. Do it. Charge three fifty. I'll pay it. Well, I'll make people pay it. You guys will pay it, right? I, I'm I'm sort of like their their customer service marketing. Uh, I'm doing marketing research right now for Gashelli Labs. I want to know what you think of my comments, and I want to know 
if you think this stuff's worth it, and what would you want? What would you want to get? Because I've got a couple custom requests out there right now floating around in the Gashelli world that might come to fruition. And if they do, oh, it's going to be Christmas for Zeos. But anyway, I'm done. Also, it's very hard to put uh, shitty $1 anime stickers onto zebra wood. So I haven't done it. If anything, I would hire an artist to actually burn an anime waifu into the top of it with a with one of the, well, the soldering iron. We'll see. Maybe my friend's uh, CNC machine put the router bit on it and have it route out Ria Scremory or something on there. Anyway, I'm done. You're done. We're done here. Are these still in stock? I hope they are. Not in Zebrawood. You gotta. You can custom it. I mean, they, I didn't even know they made the one with the stripes. Like, Jesus Christ. I have cutting boards. The cutting board's like $500 and you get them like that. Um, I'm going to listen to ACDC. On specifically the, the uh, Anandas with the with the new fenestrated uh, Dakoni pads. Thank you, Dakoni, also for sponsoring Hi-Fi Guides for this month. Hi-Fi Guides and the Hi-Fi Guides forum, mostly the forum. Um, go check those out, because that's like, like what are you doing in the comments here about Gashelli Labs? Go do that over on the Hi-Fi Guides forum. Um, Patreon and subscribe, start to see reviews like this early. There's a timetable I'm going on, because I still want to tell everyone about the 8XX are on sale, $401 off. You got them for like 700 bucks. It's about fucking time. And you could use the stock cable with it, and then if you want, you can get the A-plus cable like this, which is so much nicer, but it's just, they're stuck in there, and I can never get these unplugged, but it's fine. That's fine. And then get the Dakoni pads for that. So honestly, Dakoni fenestrated, mm, probably the winningest pad so far. Are there any other ones using that? I had another pair that was using that. I think this is the biggest change, though. That doesn't hurt. Yeah, Gashelli linked in the description, wallpaper linked in the description, patron subscribe stars, see reviews early, participate in yard sales. By the way, people who support me and see reviews early know about this sale and are getting their pennies together for like a week beforehand. So they know, they're they're privy to knowledge that you know the normal public is not. Um, see reviews early, participate in yard sales, first to the 10th of every month. If you live in the United States or Canada, I will ship whatever your bid is, that's it. You don't pay a penny more. If you want to buy it and you're international, you're in South America, you're in Australia, you're in Africa, I've shipped all over the world, and we split the shipping halfway, which can be fine or it can suck dick. South Africa, please don't bid on items, because even if it's like just a headphone, it's $300 to ship it, and I have to pay $150 of that. And it's like, I only sold the item for $131. There goes money, but you know what? I have a patron who paid that. So hopefully that patron joins the $10 tier where he could get in the private behind the scenes Telegram chat, ask me any questions he wants, gets access to a private swap meet on Telegram, and gets to know my ideas and opinions on products so early that even like people who are paying $5 don't see it that much because I'm just on my phone. Patrons are just having conversations and I'm jumping in and it's great. It's fucking great. And like I said, hi-fi guides and uh, oh, the last thing the $5 tier does is the Sound Demo Oasis because all the sound demos like that had I could make sound demos that have completely unacceptable songs and put them on the sound demo oasis in flack because no one gives a shit there. If you want to go where the, there are no laws, that's the sound demo oasis on Telegram. Anyway, I'm done here. You're done here. We're done here. I will see you all in two days, and I hope you enjoy your 8xxs for four hundred dollars off. And I hope you enjoy all this. If you want a Chris hat. The, the Chris, the Chris, don't link to the gun site, Zeos. That's dumb, because the, the links links to places that sell firearms is no go, even if it's just apparel. Right? We're good. I'm good. You're good. We're good. See you all later.